Chaga Montero, Marrakesh is a new track on WTCC calendar. How do you prepare going to totally new circuit? Well, um, it's quite actually it's quite a good challenge. Some, some drivers like it. I love it actually. Uh, there is def definitely a different way of getting ready for it. Lots of them you have either uh, you have YouTube, which is quite useful. For example, Okayama last year. That's what we did. We found the um, GT races of uh, you know recent races there. We found old stuff. But Marrakesh is a brand, brand new one, so it's going to be definitely different. We have a simulation, which, uh, okay, you can have an idea, but it's always different. So the best thing in this case is uh, to get there at least a day earlier or two days, you know, and go around the track, run it, walk it, bicycle it, whatever you want. But uh, for me, the most important thing is to actually look at it and uh, go around it. Um, it gives you the best idea when you are there. You see the curbs, you see the, the asphalt, you see the details. And uh, when it's brand new for everyone, you have to tr try and get as much information as you can. And then try to imagine what it will be on the track. Are there any tracks on the WTC calendar now which are difficult to learn when you're new or which are easy to learn when you're new? In the WTCC there are some very tricky tracks, for sure. And some easier ones, but, um, well, yeah. No, I couldn't say, I couldn't point out one or the other. I think, of course, the street tracks are always a bit more challenging, a bit more difficult. Um, Imola is quite a tricky one, you know, with the, yeah, Imola is one of the trickiest ones, probably, apart from Macau. In Macau, it's the biggest challenge for everyone. I think in any kind of car, any kind of car, but I thought it was actually harder on the touring cars than in, in, in Formula 3, because you got the weight of the car, the inertia of the car, bigger car, so in the small streets like this, it makes it harder. Yeah.